How's it going, folks? So recently, Lauren Bovert ended up uh, making headlines again in certain papers. And what had happened is an activist was being filmed handing Lauren Bovert what appeared to be a pamphlet and Lauren Bovert uh, putting the pamphlet in the trash. And, uh, of course, you knew the gun controllers were going to jump all over this, acting as if uh, Lauren Bovert had committed some sort of grave crime. And there are a few uh, ways I want to respond to this. And first off is, yeah, you keep all the junk that uh, somebody hands you. And that's what it is. It's a junk pamphlet. You know, I mean, if you're going to criticize Lauren Bovert over that, you know, well, hell, you know, where's the closet full of pamphlets and uh, all the other papers that you had stuffed in your mailbox by the post office that you kept out of respect? And I know the gun control response is going to be, well, but that was done by uh, the parent of somebody who lost their child in a mass killing. Well, it's unfortunate, however, once you start doing pamphleting and stuff like that, you have to understand that, you know, people are not under any obligation to take your pamphlet. But this is more something the gun control side of things loves to do. They love to sit there and take a non-issue <laughs> And use it as a means to attack political opposition is pretty much what it boils down to. And they love to take their victims um, and put them up on a pedestal as long as the victim does exactly what they want. There have been a number of other cases where the victims did not give the politically expedient answer that the gun control side wanted. And you notice they don't get all the media attention that the David Hogs of the world get. Um, there have been uh, a few notable exceptions. Um, Susan Gray, Shia Hub would be one of them, though I don't think that uh, she's gotten near the attention that David Hogg has gotten. Um, Carol Bone is another one, um, and a lot of people don't even know who Carol Bone is until people like me and other gun rights advocates, other Second Amendment advocates bring her name up. And with the Congress creature, which went to Congress for the U.S. Congress, but he was a lawmaker in New Jersey, what his response was to the family members of uh, Carol Bone was just to callously ignore them, get in their car, pretend like they didn't exist. So, with that being said, what Lauren Bobert did was a non ish. I do want to bring another hypothetical to this to kind of counter the strategy the gun controllers have done, you know, at least call into question. I want you to imagine somebody, um, their child was killed by, say, a black person. And this person decides they want to blame all black people for the murder of their child. And decides they want, you know, a common sense race restrictions, you know, something of that nature. They want to either bring back segregation or, well, some of the woke crowd already does want to do that, you know, but obviously for different stated reasons. But I want you to imagine this person saying, you know, uh, blaming blacks for the murder of their child, all blacks, in fact. Well, you wouldn't expect a black congressman to do anything other than throw their pamphlet in the trash. 
And in fact, the most cordial response that parent would get probably is, uh, hey, look, I understand your child was murdered by somebody, but that was just one person. That's not all blacks. Um, that's not even a vast majority of all blacks. You're barking up the wrong tree with this. That's the most cordial response that person is probably going to get unless they end up doing this in a town run by the Klan. I, I don't know of any towns run by the Klan anymore, but, you know, and unless they find, like, a, a white nationalist or a skinhead or, or something like that, they're probably not going to get much agreement for that type of mentality. And in fact, in certain areas, um, they do that. Uh, they start handing out pamphlets, talking, blaming blacks for the murder of their child. They're probably going to get subject to some sort of physical violence. Uh, you know, and this is you know usually done by people like Antifa, BLM, uh, stuff like this. I mean, you know, obviously, I'm not going to say that uh, most or uh, all or even most of the blacks are going to respond with physical violence to this person. I think most blacks are people like everyone else, you know, pretty much all blacks are people like everyone else. So they're going to just probably, you know, show disdain for this person or, you know, walk off and, you know, contempt, you know, and who can blame them? You know, it, it wasn't their fault. The person's child was murdered either. And this is kind of the same thing that gun owners, uh, well, I should say Second Amendment uh, advocates such as myself will say is, yeah, while the parent who did that pamphlet, um, while they lost their child to a mass killer who used a firearm, it is not the firearm or any other firearm owners fault or blame. You know, they don't have any responsibility for this. The person that murdered their child is the sole person to where, uh, excuse me, is the sole place where the blame should be placed. Furthermore, I mean, if you're going to really want to put any more responsibility to this, I would suggest spreading the responsibility to the people who said, you may not carry weapons in this area. Um, and the reason why I put that blame there is because once you sit there and tell somebody that they cannot have the tools necessary to protect themselves, then the onus comes on you to protect them. And if you fail because somebody walked into your building in violation of your policy because you didn't uh, do anything other than say, no guns, please. Um, and then they start shooting up everybody else. Well, that onus is on you at that point. You were negligent. That's about the only spread of the responsibility that I would put, or culpability at bare minimum. So, no, Lauren Volbert was not in the wrong to do that. And quite frankly, I wouldn't have expected her to do anything else. I, you know, would expect the people who run on a pro 2A platform uh, to stick to that. Because that's the reason why people like me vote for them. Anyway, y'all have the comments section below. Chime your opinion in. And uh, y'all take it easy out there. Have a great day.